Hey guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com. Today we're going to be learning a etude that focuses specifically on strumming, and the idea behind this lesson was to introduce our thumb as a way to do the upstrums, but instead of doing an upstrum where it's every string, we're going to be focusing on doing the upstrum that hits only string one, so we're going to be highlighting the melody note. So the concept behind this lesson is to use either these two fingers, index and middle, or second and third to do a down strum, and then to use your thumb to do an up strum, but only playing the melody note on string one. So you're only hitting string one. So again, we could use either our index and middle to strum down, or our second and third to strum down, and then our thumb to come up. So making a basic C, it looks like this. So give that a shot a couple times and then you'll be ready to play this entire tune. So this is part one of our lesson and we're going to be learning the complete intro and the A melody. So if you guys want to learn the rest of the tune, you can do so in part two of the lesson at rockclass101.com. There you will be able to learn the B melody and the C melody, as well as get the complete tabs to follow along with and access to the on-screen tab viewer, which literally plays back this song and lets you watch the tab scroll across in real time. You can slow it down to whatever speed you want. It's just a really cool asset in learning this song that much quicker. So let's go ahead and kick into our lesson. And our intro is actually gonna be a bit of finger picking. So we're gonna be doing a four finger approach for the intro. But let's begin by first making the chord and I'll demonstrate what it sounds like. Our first chord is gonna be a diminished. So we have our index finger on the fourth fret of the third string our ring finger on the 6th fret of the 2nd string, and our pinky on the 7th fret of the 1st string. And then our 4th string will be open. So you can hit that, and we have quite a bit of dissonance we can hear. Right? Now here's the tricky part. I want you to add your middle finger to the 5th fret of string 1, and just go ahead and leave it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play uh, this whole phrase, so it's a 4-bar intro. I'll go ahead and play it once so we can get a reference of what it sounds like, then we'll break it down. Okay, one more time if I go slower. Okay, so basically what's happening here is that I have one finger on my right hand per string. So what I'm doing is my thumb is playing the fourth string, my index finger is playing the third string, middle finger is playing the second, and then ring is playing the first string. So each finger gets its own string. So our first hit is gonna be the only one that uses a strum. So I'm just gonna take my index finger, I'm gonna strum all four strings. And then after I strum, I'm gonna pull off with that pinky. So watch that pinky pulls off to the five on string one. Okay? Then I'm gonna play string two, and then lift my middle finger up and play the open. So watch, this first bar, I'm gonna break that four finger approach just to help me transition into it for bar two, three, and four. So watch my index finger. I'm gonna strum, then play string two, then use my middle finger for string one. Okay, again. Okay, then I'm gonna play the open four and use my index finger for three. So I'm using my index finger to move up into that four finger approach for bar two, three, and four. So again, I have strum, first finger playing string two, middle finger playing string one open, then thumb play string four open, and then index play string three. Again. So there's bar one. Now bar two, which sounds like this, right, and bar three is the same. So if you're watching the right hand, you see how I'm now into that four finger approach. Each finger gets its own string. So the first bar, I was using the index finger a lot just to work my way up to a comfortable four finger approach. Right, 
right? So if I go real slow, bar one, four finger approach. So bar two and three are the same. You're going to uh, basically pull off seven to five on string one, then play string two, then string one open, and then string four open, and then string three. So it's the same as bar one, you just cut out that strum. So there's bar two, again it's seven to five, play string two, string one open, string four open, string three. Right, so that happens for bar two and three, and then bar four you do the same, pull off, string two, open one, open four, and you stop there, so you cut out the last note and you do a little fermata, so we hold that out before we kick into the A melody. And basically about bar three is when I start to do a bit of a retard, so I start to slow down. So here's what it would sound like all together. Right, so you can hear how I just gradually start to slow down, um, starting about bar three. So there is our intro, guys. It's a little tricky because it's a bit of finger frenzy and it's a four finger approach to finger picking. So it is a bit of a boot camp, but it's fun. It's a great, great um, lick to work on building some technique and some dexterity with your fingers. So let's go ahead and move into our A melody now. Basically, um, we're playing in three, four throughout this song until we get to the end. And what this rhythm's gonna be is, uh, it's basically a repetitive rhythm throughout. Think of this song, or, or the A melody, as two bars at a time, okay? And our rhythm, if we were to count three to four, we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? So our rhythm for most of this A melody is gonna be this. One, two, and, and one, two, three. One, two, and, and one, two, three. Here's what it sounds like in the context of the playing. Right, so you have ba 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 da 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 da. If you can get that stuck in your head, ba 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 da da ba 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 ba. Right, if you can get that rhythm stuck in your head, then this song becomes that much simpler. So let's look at our first chord. We're gonna make an E minor. So it's just that staircase, right? Four, three, two, starting on string three, right? And our fourth string is open. Now the difference is that I'm gonna lift that middle finger up. So our middle finger will be up, which gives us an open second string. So there's our first one. So just think of it as a little variation on the basic E minor. So guys, remember, we're going to be doing, basically using either our first and second to strum down, or our second and third to strum down, and then our thumb to strum up, but we're only playing string one. So if you're following with the tab, every time you see that chord, you strum down. Every time you see a single note, you're gonna use your thumb to play the first string only. So here's bar one, we have, so we have strum, strum, followed by two thumbs, right? So down, down, and then up, up, playing string one. Okay, bar two is gonna be a strum, and then we're gonna play five on string one, and then move it up to seven on string one. So we're, I'm just using my pinky for that. Here it is put together slowly. And you can see too, I'm using my thumb to play those five and seven, so those last two hits. Right, so that's what I get. Okay, one more time. Okay, the next one is going to basically drop our ring finger down a half step. So we're gonna be playing zero, three, zero, two. So this chord has a lot of dissonance in it and this is a minor major seven. So it's supposed to sound like that. So don't think, oh, I'm making it wrong. That's what we want. But in the context of playing it quick, you know, that dissonance doesn't ring out like it does right now. So again, guys, we're gonna do the same pattern. We're gonna go, 
right? So you have strum, strum, right? So down, down. And then you have your thumb to go up, right? And it's the same walk up, five to seven. So we have down, down, up, up, down, five, seven. Cool, so if I put E minor to E minor major seven, I have. Okay, if I slow it down. Okay, so for our third part, we're going to an E minor seven. So as we've seen from our walk down, our first one was third and first finger to second and first finger. Now our third chord is an E minor seven. We're actually gonna flip this around. We're gonna put our index finger up onto the second fret of string three and drop your middle finger to the second fret of string one. And go ahead and just strum all four. So you have two opens on this. You have open four and open two. Okay, and when we're playing this, we have the same um, strum pattern, right? But our melody on string one changes. So we have strum, strum, one, one strum, and then our melody is going to be three, two. Okay, so here's the first three parts that we have. Okay, our next chord is really simple. We're just going to drop down a half step on string three to the first fret. And this one is an A7. And you can hear with that A7, we're actually going to be playing a different rhythm for the first time, right? So it's the first part, the first bar of A7 starts the same. So we have strum, strum, one, one. But the next bar, our rhythm changes. It's going to go one, two, and three, end. So that's going to be our rhythm. We have uh, basically. Uh, two sets of the eighth notes, right? One, two, and three, and. So think of it as down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. So if I tie in from bar one of A7, I have. Right, if I play it slow. Okay, so let's go ahead and recap from the first part all the way up to that A7 now. Next, we're going to a basic A minor, so we're just use our middle finger just like normal, and we're going to be transitioning back to the first rhythm. So this one, our melody is going to walk up on string one, so we have... So again, strum, strum one, one strum, and then second, third on string one. using my third finger to my fourth finger and then I'm going to move up to a variation on E minor it's basically an octave shape we're gonna put our index finger on four on string three and pinky on seven on string one and I strum all four strings and this is gonna be straight quarter notes for our last two bars so we're gonna strum all four on this chord and then use your ring finger to go to five on string one and then to the third fret on string one. So I'm using my ring finger for the last two notes. So I've got strum, five, three. Stay on that, strum a basic C. Use your middle finger to play two, and then open. So that melody is all on string one. Right, and I could even do a pull off on that last one if I wanted to go two to zero. So I have strum, five, three, strum, two, open, right? So all that is quarter, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. So guys, that gives us our entire A melody. So let me go ahead and play it uh, one time through slowly for you. Alright guys, so there is our complete A melody. 
I hope this tune was helpful in giving you a new approach for using your thumb for highlighting the melody note with an up strum. So it's just a cool little uh, concept that you can take and you can use in any kind of playing, even if you were to play like a basic strum pattern. So for example, if we took a basic uh, chord progression, let's just say C to A minor, if I put a standard strum with the thumb hitting all strings, I would have... But if I add the approach that we learned in this one, where the thumb focuses on string one, this is the different sound we get. So you can hear the difference is subtle, but it makes it less busy sounding and it really brings out a melody, especially if you were to add um, some kind of melody progression in your chord playing. So I hope that this lesson just gives you a different approach and gives you something to work on that's, that's new. So if you guys want to learn the rest of the tune, you can do so at rockclass101.com. Remember that in part two of the lesson, we'll learn the B melody and the C melody, as well as you'll be able to print off the tabs to follow along with and get access to that on-screen tab viewer. So I hope to see you guys in our next lesson. Thanks.